Hey guys, Westy here again. Hey listen, um, my kids have been at it again. Here's a um, Belkin wireless network adapter. Um, USB one. Kids have pretty much slammed it into, or, or had it plugged in and slammed something into a chair or something into the into the card and snapped the um, USB fitting off it. Okay, so I managed to hunt one down off um, the net. It was about two bucks fifty or two two dollars twenty or something like that. So you might got to make sure you get the right one, of course. Um, so I'm going to have a go at fixing it, and um, yeah, we'll see see if we can get this thing going again. Obviously, it ain't going to go with with broken terminals like that. So um, basically, you'll need a um, some sort of wick wicking. Um, uh, goot, whatever it is. Um, usually it's self flux. You'll need some solder. You need a soldering iron, of course. And there's one other thing that's missing. And I think I'll just get some side cutters. I'll just cut this off so that it's nice and fresh. Right, so we'll just get this thing apart and see how we go. We'll get some screwdrivers going on here. Um, so I'll just put this aside for now. Get this aside for now. So we can I've got a tile, ceramic tile here that I'm that I like to work on because it just gives you a bit of heat protection for your bench. So we're just gonna carefully try and pry up in here. Let's see if we can get some better light going on over here. Okay, we'll see if we can pry on one side of this here. See if we can get this board off. Just try and pry away at each end carefully close to the pins. And that's nice and free at this end, so we'll just lift that end off and flick it out. Okay, so as you can see, um, where the broken one is, I can't seem to find it. Um, so yeah, oh over here, over here. Okay, so this here, on on the outside here, we've got um, two little lugs here, and they're the securing lugs for the device. And then there's your one, two, three, four terminals which plug in. So this plug sits on top like this. Obviously the lugs are broken off. And it sits in a makes connection like so. So with the new one, this flicks that. Well, once I've got these two lugs here out, I'll push those lugs through and um, join those four connectors up. So what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to tin these so it's actually got something to stick to. So we'll just put a bit of weight on this first. And we'll just get a bit of solder here. Just using uh, 071 mil uh, 6040 uh, tin lead. Um, they reckon that um, some some people reckon that the um, 6733, I think it is, or 6139 or something like 6931, is better. But anyway, this is all I've got, so this is all it's going to get. Three. 
three, four. Okay, so that they're all tinned, nice and easy. You don't want to go too hard out because you've got plastic in there and it will start melting all the plastic. So um, we also want to make sure we tin the. Oh, we'll, put, we'll actually won't. We'll, we'll put that on once we go through the through the board. So just put that aside for now. So now what we want to do here is get this um, soldering wick, and um, we'll weight down the device so that we can keep it stable. And we'll just put some. We'll put a bit of heat on. We'll flick this excess off. where a wet sponge comes in handy sometimes as you can see the wick's coming it's it's coming up through the wick which is good this takes a bit of time So a bit at a time, just go and move over to the other one to get a bit of heat out of that original area. Just move the wick around so you can get as much of the solder up as possible. Cut a little bit off. back down again anyway you get the general idea so it's basically working both sides of this So you'll just have to play with this until you get as much of it as you can soaked up into the wick. Because you've got to get those plugs out to um, to get it to take. Alright, I'll just have a play with this and um, I guess you get the picture. You want to do both sides as well, so try and get as much solder off. But you want to be real careful on this side because you've got a... Um, couple of resistors and capacitors here that are not going to go down too well if you start mucking around with that stuff so yeah anyway i'll persevere with it and i'll get it all off and when i'm ready to solder back on i'll get back to you okay 25 minutes later and a bit of a mess i've um managed to get the two um stubborn little puppies out so what i'm going to try and do now is i'm going to try and Retin these four connections here without putting too much heat in the board. Okay, that's those four done. And remember, we tinned this before, so we'll just stick this through the top. Hopefully, put our soldering iron down before we injure ourselves. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and just line this up first. Tricky, but we'll get it in there, I think. 
Okay, I don't know if you can see that there, but um, it's the best I could do, given the situation. Now I sold the two bottom ones there. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that. So we'll give it a go and see what happens. We'll put it back together again. And we'll give it a try.